making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much. Hi everybody. It's cooking with Tina time again. Um, as I said to you before in my video, I'm, I'm going to try and do a bit of preparation for Christmas. I have already done quite a bit. I've got a few things in the freezer that I've done. But today I'm just going to make some cauliflower cheese and maybe some cranberry sauce. Um, I'll see how it goes and how long it takes. Um, so what I've done is I've pre I like to prepare everything first. So I've washed and chopped up. I've got three small cauliflowers from Aldi. Um, it's probably going to be too much cauliflower, but I'd hate to run out. I think there's about nine people for Christmas lunch, Christmas dinner. Um, so, and they are fond of cauliflower cheese. So I like to cut it into big chunks. I don't know if you can see, because um, it stops it going mushy. And also, I think it's nice for Sunday to get a decent portion out rather than scooping around in the sauce. So what I'm going to do is, I'll just get my pan. I've washed the cauliflower, chopped it up and drained it. So I'm just going to put it in a pan. There's quite a lot in there. Now I, 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 I I don't know why I do this, nobody's ever told me to. But I always try and put half a lemon in because I just find it keeps the cauliflower white. So I'll probably put the smaller half of the lemon in and I've boiled some water in the pan. So what I'm going to do, it will have a slight taste of the lemon. If my daughter's watching this, she'll go, I'm actually doesn't really like lemon, but I always do it. She's probably never noticed before. So I'm going to put that on to boil now. And I'm going, I'm going, to, sorry, move it down so you can see. I'm going to boil it for about 10 minutes and see how it goes. So I'll put a little bit of salt in, but I'm not someone that salts a lot of food. So eating salt, you know, and it, it's not really good for you. Uh, but I will put a little bit of low salt in. I don't use much salt in things. And then, you can see over here, I'll move this. I just popped it on the stove. And I'm going to leave that now for about 10 minutes. I may need some more water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to you in 10 minutes. Uh, because I'll make the cheese sauce. I don't want to make it too soon because I like to drain the cauliflower and let it drain. Otherwise, it gets too watery. So while that's happening, I can make the cheese sauce. So I'll come back to you in a little bit when the cauliflower's cooked. Right. So the cauliflower's actually been on for about ten mi uh, 12 minutes. Uh, I'll let it have another two. Um, you sort of, I mean, I suppose I'm probably like teaching my grandmother to suck egg tea. You probably all know how to do it. But what I do is I um, I cook it for about, well, as I say, it took 12 minutes. You want it to be sort of firm, but not soft. Um, you know, a little bit al dente. So um, I'm just letting, it's drained, but I want to make sure um, that it's completely drained because there's nothing worse than it being watery, is there really? Uh, so now I'm going to make the cheese sauce. Um, I'll just, I'll just turn you around while I do Right, that. so for the cheese sauce, you need a couple of knobs of butter. Um, I'm afraid I'm, I'm not a person who measures. I don't know. I know I know. It, uh, people find it difficult when I say, oh, I just put this in and I just put that in. But I really do. I just, you know, as a guy, I'll try and sort of say how much I think. Uh, that was just a couple of knobs of butter. I don't know if you can see. And you want that to melt and then you put some corn flour in with it and that obviously I'll put I'll put uh, I think that's probably about two and a half dessert spoons I'm saying I mean I sometimes alter this I am making a lot maybe I might put a little bit more in you know it is a big sauce so you just need to just let that, I don't know if you can see, just melt and um, just make a roux out of it. I 
and I always put in, I like white pepper in with my, um, I don't know why, but I like white pepper with cheese sauce. And I put a little bit of dried mustard powder in. So, now I'm not, I'm not measuring this milk, but I was going to pour myself a glass of Coke and for some reason I got the milk out and I put milk in it. So I'll, I'll just, I probably want double that. So just put a little bit in now and mix it round to make a paste. I should have brought it a bit nearer, shouldn't I? Oh, I think normally I have here, I've got a, one that clips onto the kitchen unit. So just whisk that. My other whisk might be better. This is a Dutch whisk. Just try and get all the lumps out. Because you don't want it to stick. So I'll put the rest of that in. And I'll put a load more in as well. Because I want a decent size um, sauce. This is quite a lot of cauliflower, isn't there? Well, there were three little cauliflowers there. Maybe I need a bit more. Then I put a sprinkling of pepper. And then this is a new one. Look how full they um how full they fill these when you open them. Just put a little bit of that in. Just gives it a little bit of added flavour. Because you don't really need salt because the cheese will be salty. I've got two lots of two types of cheese. I've got um, like an essential cheddar, and then I've also got a mature cheddar. So I'll mix them both from Aldi, of course. And then I'll put the. If it's too thick, I'll just put more uh, milk in. So you just want to bring that to the boil. It does help, doesn't it, if I switch the stove on? <laughs> it, it probably melted before for because um, it was still hot from the um, cauliflower. I'm telling you, dear, I didn't switch the stove on. So I'll let that come to the boil. You don't want to watch all that. It'll be boring. So it's now starting to thicken up a little bit. I like to keep stirring it because it can easily burn at the bottom. Can you see now it's thickening? When it starts to thicken, I usually take it off the heat. Can you see the consistency now? So then I'm going to add some grated cheddar. Some dip oh, I didn't quite mean to put that much in, but it doesn't matter. And a little bit of coloured cheddar because this will um, give it a nice little bit of colour. It is Christmas, isn't it? It doesn't matter if there's too much cheese in. So can you see now? That's made a lovely, thick, creamy cheese sauce. And if it's too thick, you could always put some more milk in at this stage. I'll just show you, like I'll put a little bit in. It doesn't really need it because we quite like it thick. Um, but it doesn't matter. It will work its way in if you just put a little bit more and if you find it's too thick for you. So what I'm going to do now is pour this over the... Um, I'll show you over here. I've put the cauliflower in a tinfoil container, can you see? And I'm just going to pour the sauce over it. Oh, this Motion is... detected at the front door. That was yet another Amazon delivery. It couldn't have come at a worse time, could it? So... So 
what I'm going to do, the little bit that's in the bottom, I'm going to mix a little bit of milk with it because I don't like to waste this beautiful cheese sauce. And I'll just sprinkle that on around the edge. got cheese on the sauce and I'll just move some over like this and then I will just sprinkle a little bit of cheese on the top And then that's ready to pop in the freezer. I'll put a lid on it. I perhaps need to flatten that down a little bit or the lid won't go on it. Uh, but then that's ready to go in the freezer and that I'll just pop that in the oven on Christmas Day. So I shall leave that to cool now. Right. Shall I do some cranberry sauce? You know what? I think I will. Right, I'm going to start with the cranberry sauce in a minute. So um, just bear with a packet and a half of cranberries here. Actually, I'll see how much it is. I might as well put both packets in. There's only a few left. I'll just rinse these because I haven't rinsed these the year. Right. So I'll put those in. And then we want some sugar. Now it's nice with soft brown sugar, but I don't have any, so I'll just put some ordinary sugar in. It depends how sweet you like it, but they are quite sour. So I'll put quite a bit, but I'm going to put a bit of demerara sugar in as well. I think it just gives it that little bit of an extra. Got some at the bottom now, I'll put that in. Oh, I didn't mean to put that much in. So we have got rather a lot of sugar, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Can you see? Right, so now this is going on the stove. Right, I've, I've just been doing a lot and not had the camera on. What I've done is uh, I've added um, the juice of an orange. I squeezed an orange, which you... You won't see me. It's terrible when you're cooking and you can't re-video it again when you've not videoed it. Then I've put the, um, can you remember the Opie's ginger? Well, I've put some of the syrup out of the ginger. I use the ginger on the ham. Do you remember when I made the ham? So I've put some of the syrup in here in with the, with the orange juice. Uh, now, as I was saying, there's probably a lot of pectin in these um, cranberries. So the sugar's all melted, but the cranberries need to pop and simmer for a bit um, for it to thicken up. I might put a little bit more sherry in. This will be the weirdest tasting cranberry sauce. But that's how you, you know, how people come up with recipes, isn't it? I can't believe I didn't film that. Maybe I filmed some of it when I... Right, so I'll leave that for a bit just to thicken up and then I'll come back and show it you. Right, I'm just going to put some zest in for the um, orange. I love this zester. I used to watch Australia MasterChef and they all use one like this on there. So I had to scour it. Well, I mean, I think you can get them all over now, but at the time you couldn't. I loved Australian Mastercher, much better than ours. He told me I was doing it wrong, but I can't remember what they said it to do. 
be work, so I just do it that way. So it's just coming up to the boil now, so it'll need to simmer for a bit. So we'll come back when it's simmered a bit. Right, it's coming to the boil now. You can see because it starts to foam and they're all starting to pop. Can you see the cranberries are popping? It may be very sweet because I did get a bit carried away with the sugar. So when it starts bubbling up like that, I'll turn the heat down. Right, so as you can see, it's thickening up lovely now. Sort of, it, you can tell when it's done. You know, if it like wrinkles a bit on the top, if you know what I mean. A bit like when you're making jam, if you've ever made jam. Although you test it on a spoon, don't you, the jam? Right, so I think that it will thicken up more when it cools down. So I think I'm going to leave that now and I'll show it you later on when it's cooled down. It smells delicious. But probably very sweet. the valley. A legion is gathering. The Wapiti Pack. More than 20 wolves strong. The Wapitis gather in the timber. They're staging for an ambush. Just as night is falling. 